Okay, so I've mentioned in the previous videos that um, Coloured Web has a few glitches um, in here, so today I'm going to show you how to actually fix that. So I'm in Chrome, um, I've uh, got a web page which has some things I want to fix, uh, so let's start with the subscribe button. So we'll right click on it, go and inspect element, and we can see that it, its class is subscribe label. Uh, notice that we've also got um, subscribed and unsubscribed, and we may as well do those at the same time. So, let's go into the code. Um, actually, I'm going to do this another way. I'm going to hop into KWrite. Uh, we're going to open. We're going to get into Files, Develop. There it is. Um, Coloured Web. I'm not used to using the GUI. Uh, package is available, coloured web, and then we want this. It is a um, CW generic template. Let's open that up. Now, first off, notice that we've got these um, these bits up here. This is telling you um, what what it is that you want to um, to do, and then the code that you need to actually put that in place. So here. We're looking at we're setting um, the color the uh, we're setting the window text so actually we're using this very top one here to set the color and then you can see here we've set a border color we've set a background color we've set a foreground color all this type of stuff is in here uh, I notice uh, in here no that may not be true I'll, I'll leave that out anyway um, let's now go and find YouTube. Apparently I don't have YouTube in here yet. Alright, that's fine. So let's go back up to Gmail and we'll put it after that. Okay, so we're going to make a section here. So we're going to go boink 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 and this is going to be site and it's going to be youtube.com. Fine. Uh, now we want to go dot and then we take this label like so and we want to close that off. Now that is YouTube and this is the subscribe button. Right, so we have this. Let's just quickly bookmark that line and we'll go and find. Uh, we want, okay, I don't have button listed in there at the moment, so let's go and find an existing button. So we're going to go and grab these wee bits here and we'll go and find our bookmark like so we're going to paste that in. You'll notice that there was um, if we go here oh, I've missed it actually is this a better one? so we've got no background, we've got a, we've got a colour and we've got a background colour um, I like this one better, this is a bit simpler We may end up adding a border colour in there later on. Okay, so we've got there that. Let's see if that works. So we're just going to grab this again, uh, and away we go. Okay, so you see there that we're not quite um, we're not quite there yet. So I reckon if we go and grab this one here, this is going to be a pretty good start. So that is also a class YouTube button wrapper and once again we're going to grab these wee bits here we're going to save that and then we'll do the same thing again and that did not work so let's just quickly hop into this uh, into this one here yeah, we'll go to this one here and let's find out where it got it from Gotcha, so that's coming from this one here. Okay, so we're going to grab that. So the way we do that, we'll now come into here. And I'm not an expert in CSS. Um, there is almost certainly a better way of doing this. Um, if you know it, please let me know in the comments. Alright, and now we'll go and try that again. Yay! And now, notice that we need to set a border, border colour. Um, so, I'm going to use the window text. 
Um, hopefully in the near future I'm going to have some better definitions in place um, so we don't have to abuse the existing ones like this. Um, and then we need to take make it important and we're going to set that. Yay! Okay, so now we can actually go and take the subscribe label and we'll make the subscribed label and the unsubscribe label. So we're going to update the comments um, and d. So we're now going here and here and now if we go to here we should now be able to go over to this tab and you'll see, ah now notice that uh, the surrounding button hasn't worked here. Now this will be because it's not the same uh, set of CSS. Like you see here, we've got a, an amazing amount of um, extra stuff here. Almost certainly there's a whole lot of stuff that needs to be uh, overridden there. So um, let's, let's just abuse this a little bit at the moment. Um, but. Uh, this is where someone who knows CSS would be a massive help. Um, so let's go over to this and we're going to inspect. I reckon there is a good place to start. Okay, let's try that. I would say that is not success. Okay, so let's take all of this out. Let's try this one. Cool, let's try that. Darn it. And you can see that sometimes this can be rather frustrating. Well, actually, hang on, let's come right back into here. Okay, so that didn't work, so I'm going to now take this out uh, because that's confusing the thing a little bit here. Or maybe it's not. Ah, uh, there we go, okay, so now it still doesn't set, let's have a look at this one. I doubt it's further back than this. No, we're definitely not going further in there, so let's come back to this one. I don't think this is it. Oh, okay, no, that's a colour and not a background colour. An image. That could well be our culprit. Okay, so let's try undo, and we're going to copy that. I have a feeling I've tried this already. Yay, that's progress. Okay, so now we need to get over to that little uh, gear button, which I imagine is right here. Before we do this, we should put in here. So this is the subscribe button wrapper on the video page. So now we're going to make another one of these. So I think the problem that I had before was that I missed one of the spaces. Now you can see here that uh, we're combining several elements together here. Um, and then what I'm doing here is simply uh, Taking all of the taking the particular combination and overriding that particular combination, what would actually be a lot more effective is actually to go and override the components. Um, there we go, and that fixed that one. So uh, yeah, it would be much much more efficient if I uh, if I just overrode the components rather than um, overriding each combination, and I suspect I'd be I would. Uh, uh, open up a whole minefield of stuff that needs to be done if I did that, uh, which is why I haven't gone that far yet. But uh, it may be something worth doing. By just overriding a few thing, a few key things here and there, that can be enough to actually uh, get into a good shape. Um, subscribe button gear. So I'm going to leave this video at that. Um, hopefully that makes good sense. Um, I'm now going to hop into that repository. So if we go in here, you can see 
that I've just added these few bits here and that has been enough to actually get the subscribe stuff working. Questions and comments in the comments section down below please. Um, I'll try to answer any questions I can. Um, yes, I know my CSS is not hot. Um, I'm particularly interested uh, if you know of standards which uh, my project can be adhering to which will help website designers to uh, make their stuff compatible with coloured web, that would be really helpful. So yeah, um, <laughs> if you, yeah, uh, any questions in the comment section below, I will try and answer as many as I can. See you later.